to Microsoft Excel working with advanced functions brought to you by Shift Key Solutions and I am Eric Ripley. This video tutorial is in line with the Excel Custom Classroom Advanced Training Manual. So we're going to cover the VLOOKUP function in this tutorial along with the HLOOKUP function and, and that's all the time we'll have for this video tutorial. But if let's take a look at our worksheet here and what I want to do is come up with a grade that this formula is going to reference and look up our semester average here numbers and then we're gonna cross-reference that with our grading and then come up with a letter grade here so I'm gonna go to my grade column and put in equals VLOOKUP and what do I want to look up is the semester average. So I'm going to say I4. The table array I want to reference is going to be right down here, I20 through J24. Then I'm going to do comma. And the results I want to pull from this will be in column two. So if I look at my information here, I'm going to count from left to right. One, two. So I want this information. So I'm going to type in two. And then I want to just click my check enter mark here, and there it is. I can see that this individual, Eddie, has a C. And if I fill this down, I'm just put my cursor on the fill handle here. I'm going to double click, and it fills all the way down. Uh-oh. Now, what happened with my formula? Can you think of a reason that this might have happened? Well, let's come to our first formula. If you look up here, let's take a look at it here in our formula bar. I think if you think real hard about this, what needs to change about this formula? If you said that I-20 needs to be an absolute reference, well, then you were absolutely correct. So I'm going to absolute reference I-20. I'm going to absolute reference J-24. That way, when I fill this formula down, each of the formulas still continues to look at this range. And here's a great example how it went awry and how things changed. If I look at my formula bar here as I click down, see my range changed? My table range or table array changed? We don't want that. So let's come back, fill this down. There it is. Now that's much better. Okay, that's how you do a VLOOKUP function. Now let's talk about creating a HLOOKUP. In this example, we're using our file here for the Dean's List. And year in school, I want to populate in here what they are, freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior. And I want that to populate here. And as we all know, or those of us who have been through college, will know that the way that's measured is according to the number of credits you have and you may be surprised to learn that there are people who have been uh, freshmen or sophomores for more than two or three years that's just because their number of credits haven't increased so what I want to do is create a formula that looks at the number of credits cross-references that with our credits here and then pulls or returns one of these values to populate here so I'm going to come to my G4 cell here, which is the year in school, and do equals HLOOKUP. And I'm going to look at the credits column, so that's E4. The table array is going to be B24 through E25, comma. And the row or index I want to return back to me is going to be column, or I'm sorry, row two. And the way it works with HLOOKUP is it counts from top to bottom the number of rows. Now, my table array could have two rows or 15 rows. Either way, I need to count down to find uh, the, the return value of that row. In this case, it's row two. So I'm putting our two here. And then I'm going to I'm not going to identify whether it's an exact match. I don't want an exact match. In fact, I want it to look at this number and do a range or an estimate. So I'll click my enter check mark. There it is. This person's a sophomore. I'm going to double click this to fill it down. There's my seniors, sophomore, freshmen, juniors, and so on. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward and simple. There you go. 
Now I've had people ask me, well, how does Excel know that this is a sophomore or this individual is a sophomore? Well, it's looking at this number, cross-referencing it with our range of information here. And so what it's doing is creating a range from 0 to 29 is a freshman. From 30 to 59 is a sophomore. From 60 to 89 is a junior and anything over 90 is a senior that's how it's pulling this information okay it's a little quick explanation how that works well thanks for joining me if you didn't know how to do this before well now you know and I strongly encourage you to share this information with those who might need help with this area of Excel when you're helping them you're making yourself shine thanks for joining me and hope this was helpful don't forget to comment